Once upon a time in India, there was an old village that nobody lived in anymore. The houses were empty, the streets were quiet, and the shops were closed. It was the perfect place for mice to play and explore. The mice had been living happily in this village for hundreds of years. Even before people came to bear the village and later left it behind. They left the village because it had all houses with open windows and broken stairs. It was like a gent playground for the mice, and they had so much fun running around. They made tunnels and mazes inside the houses, creating their own little world. Had parties, festivals, and even weddings, a delicious feast together and had the best of times. Days turns into weeks, weeks into months, and months into years. Time went by. But the mice community in the village remains strong. One day, a gigantic herd of elephants came marching through the village. They were on their way to a big lake in the west and were excited about for a swim. The elephants did not realize that, as they walked through the village, the heavy feet were crushing the tunnels and mazes the mice had made. It made a big mess. The mice were very worried when they saw what happened. They called for a meeting to find a solution. They knew that if the elephants came back to the same way, their community would be in danger. The mice feel small and powerless compared to the huge elephants. But they did not give up hope. A brave group of mice decided to follow the elephant footprints all the way to the lake. There they found the king of the elephants. They bowed before him, and one mouse spoke up saying, Speaking not far from here is a mice community. It's in the old deserted village you passed through. Do you remember it? The elephant king smiled and replied, Yes, I remember it. We elephants have good memories, but I did not know. There was a mice community there. The mouse explained, How could you know? Your heart accidentally destroyed many of our homes where we have lived for hundreds of years. If we want to come back the same way, it would be the end of us. We are small and you are big. We kindly ask you to find another bus to go home. Maybe someday we mice can help you too. The Elephant King felt sorry for what had happened even though he could not imagine how tiny mice could help mighty elephants. But he promised the mice that he would lead his herd through a different way to protect their village. Meanwhile, there was a king nearby who wanted to capture as many elephants as possible. He ordered his hunters to set up a trap. At the lake, knowing that the elephants would come there to swim, when the elephant king to set up a trap at the lake, knowing that the elephants would come there to swim, when the elephant king and his heart jumped into the lake, they were all catch in the trap. Two days later, the hunters poured the captured elephants out of the lake and tied them to pick trees in the forest using large roofs. But when elephant was free because she did not go into the lake, the elephant king called to the free elephant and told her to go back to the old deserted village and bring the mice to help them. When the mice heard about the trouble the elephants bear in they hurried to the lake, they saw the king and his heart tied up and quickly started chiving on the ropes. The mice chived as fast as they could until the ropes were complete tickered setting the elephants free. 
the heart found a new way to go home and the mice community continued to live happily. In the village for many more years, they had learned that even though they were small, they could make a big difference by helping others in need and the elephants realized that even the tiniest creatures could be valuable friends 